that's real nice. That's great. I love that one. Hi, I'm Don Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Corderone Guitar Reveries by Valiant Samples. Corderone Guitar Reveries captures cinematic atmospheric electric guitars performed by Claudio Corderone. Library downloads is 9 gigabytes. It's a collection of cinematic, abstract, ambient electric guitars. It's got 150 different presets with a two-layer sample engine that will allow you to combine those sample sets and create your own instruments. The main page has reverb, saturation, widening, and tremolo macros, as well as an effects page with amp, lo-fi, EQ, filters, and more parameters. Library is a contact player instrument compatible with the full and free version of Contact 6. It is NKS compatible, and Quartorone Guitar Reveries normally sells for $79. US dollars. All right, I've got uh, Quartorone Guitar Reveries uh, pulled up. You can see it's a contact player instrument compatible with full version or free version of the contact player version of Contact 6. You've got guitars, pads, keys, folders, and an empty NKI, which I assume it just resets things for you. I'm going to mute my mic here, and we're going to play through quite a number of the presets. I always am excited to check out guitar instruments. The demos on this sounded amazing, so let's experience it together, shall we? Here is the guitars folder, simple and clean. And let's check it out. It looks like our green keys usually indicate that those are... Um, yeah, that is definitely resampled and uh, brought back down. Um, the blue area must be where the guitar was sampled originally. I'm going to mute my mic and we'll play through this. really nice there. Here's one called Leslie. how this one has a distortion to it that's not just absolutely overwhelming. You still actually hear the guitar sounds. I like that um, it's kind of set up that way with the engine here. And 
I do like the way they've included release. This one has a little bit too much uh, reverb and delay, so that's what this setting is here. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit for my taste. <laughs> Let's check out this one. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one, but I'm tempted to because I just love guitar instruments so much. I do like this one a lot. Again, there's a lot of a verb and delay, but it's partially how the instrument's curated. It's what makes it so cinematic. I think in context, I probably would not need to dial it back down that much. Uh, it's just a, more of a taste issue, I think. three different harmonics for this uh, guitar samples. Let's listen to these. So those are artificial harmonics, obviously. And a little bit of noise behind them. And maybe that's one of the reasons they've got these turned up. Maybe there's a little bit of noise on the signal. Nope, not on harmonic C. So it must vary from sample set to sample set. Yeah, that's real nice. That's great. I love that one. Oh, I promised I wasn't going to go through every one, but I want to. All right, let's check out some of this. It looks like it's got some mod wheel controls. Let's see what this does. That's a little odd, just a little granular pad there, sneaking in, controlled by the mod wheel. Hmm. All right, this one's bass-like. Thank you. 
Yeah, this one's great. Oh, I just love this low end here. Another one with mod wheel controls. So subtle. go ahead and jump into the next set the pads because i'm starting to hear quite a bit of the hybrid instrumentation sample sets combining in this two-layer engine here's some of the pad instruments cinematic that's awesome got another one with some mod wheel controls taken I'm really loving 
the sound of this instrument overall uh, so far. Guitar sounds really nice. A little bit of noise here and there. I don't know if that's in the effects chain. We haven't even looked at that yet. Um, but the guitar sounds, and now that we're moved on to pads, I'm really digging this. Let's check out a few more pads. <laughs> That's a winner patch there. Let's move on. We got one more folder to listen through of keys. This is just, uh, again, a random selection. Checking it out. Play through a few of these with my mic muted.
That's really cool. So now let's explore the uh, customization that you can do with this instrument, meaning you can load up sample sets and combine the two in different ways. So let's go ahead and just start with one of these long sustains. Turn the volume down a little bit. Pan it a little to one side. Let's go ahead and find something else here. How about one of these feedbacks? Harmonic feedback. And now we've got our different effects. This is our delay and verb. Pass. And then here we've got our effects. It's a pretty nice sound. It looks like the releases controls both the releases for both sample set A and B. thing I'm not seeing here is pitch control independent for each instrument which of course I could load up two different of the reveries engines and pitch shift one with the tuning up here on contact but I'm just curious as to why 
that wasn't uh, something they put in. It looks like you got different controls for effects chains for A and B sample set, if you didn't notice that. And hmm, there's no real change for your IR, for your verb. So you just get whatever they're giving you. And it's a really pleasing IR verb they've decided to use for this. Uh, although it would be nice to have a convolution, and that would have really expanded the instrument. Because um, you could have done all kinds of things affecting each of the sound, the contour of the sonic signature between those. All right. Uh, I'm really enjoying the tone and how they've curated this Quarteron guitar reverie seems to deliver some really expansive cinematic guitar sounds. I love cinematic guitars, especially when they're custom curated in a way like this that I can find, you know, maybe 10, 15 of my favorite presets, tweak them a little bit for each of the projects or productions I'm working on, and then be done with it and move on, composing. The instrument doesn't allow for tons of manipulation. I had some critiques about, I wish there was a little more controls for the A and B uh, loading sample layers, or you know, you could have done you could have done so much more with those as well as having custom IRs in the instrument itself. But for what they give you, everything does work and sound really great out of the box. The custom presets, I think there's a nice range here, and it really does show off how they've taken the sample set and turned it into not only guitar textures, but pads and keys, all of which I think will work wonderfully for anybody doing underscore who wants to add a little textures into their post-rock tracks, perhaps for a premiere instrument from the developer i have to say they've done a great job here it's really focused and i appreciate that this instrument isn't so overblown and bulging that i was able to get a really great feel from it just from sitting down now and now i know that i want to be using it in some productions in the future love to hear your thoughts about quarteron guitar reveries what do you think about the libraries is something that you'd be picking up for this price of just 79 bucks as a contact player instrument i think it's a big bonus for those of us who love having those instruments in the libraries tab or for those people who have yet to splurge and get a full version of contact please comment let me know what you think about the instrument below as always like share and subscribe i always love your support and be sure to head over to sample library review.com for the latest news reviews and our weekly deals page